Are you ready? Are you? No, you're not. No, you're not. Ordained to the priesthood in 1989 in, in the Diocese of Erie. Father Larry Richard serves as the pastor of St. Joseph Bread of Life Community in Erie. He's a hard-hitting speaker, preacher, retreat master, and author. The best way that I could figure out to describe him and what he's going to do here today is he's going to encourage the hell out of you. <laughs> I just can't put it any other literally. way. Literally, that's what he's going to do. His talk is spiritual practices to arm us in our battle. Uh, he's got, uh, his first book was Be a Man and uh, really changed my life and changed a lot of guys in our group's life. It starts with the line, you're going to die. Talk about giving away the ending. And so his second one, Surrender, he's got a Catholic men's book out there called, uh, uh, well, it's, it's, it's his Catholic men's Bible with the famous line, no, no Bible, no breakfast, no Bible, no bed. And he's host of EWTN radio show called The Reason for Our Hope. That's Monday through Fridays, 9 to 10 a.m. here, or 7 to 8 p.m. He is also on EWTN Open Line, uh, Thursdays from 4 to 5. Gentlemen, will you stand to your feet and welcome Father Larry Richards. Okay, gentlemen. Have a seat. Sit down. Let's do it. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We ask you to fill us with your Holy Spirit, which isn't a cowardly spirit, but one that will make us strong, loving, and wise. That you would set us on fire and people would come to watch us burn. We beg you these things, Holy Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Are you ready, gentlemen? I don't think so. Okay, let's start. Let me see your Bibles. Don't you hold up those phones, you little pagans. Don't you dare. The rest of you are going to hell. So, I'm just telling you now. You need to have a... Da, 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 da. You ever sit there and see a statue of St. Paul? You see a statue of St. Paul in the United States, we're very politically correct, I don't buy it. But anyway, you go to Rome, St. Paul outside the royals in Rome, and you go there and there's Paul. And what does Paul always have in his hand? A sword. Now here in the United States, the sword is like this. Oh, look how pretty. In Rome, he is holding the sword up, ready for battle. Gentlemen, the first thing you and I got to deal with if we're going to enter into battle is the word of God. Remember? The theme for your thing is, in, in uh, Hebrews, it says, carry the word of God, the sword of the spirit, the word of God. Gentlemen, to do battle, you need to get into God's word. And that's why we talk about no Bible, no Bible, no bed. That means you don't get up in the morning and you don't eat breakfast in the morning till you read from God's holy word. You don't go to bed at night till you read from God's holy word. That way you start your day with God and you end your day with God. We so often start our day with the newspaper, or end our day with the newspaper, or the news. And what happens to us, gentlemen, is we become negative. I don't know if you know that. Because garbage in is garbage out. So you ever have no peace? Because the first thing you do in the morning is you read the paper. The paper, the news, whatever it is, it's always negative. bad, negative, garbage. So you start to get like that. Gentlemen, we are called to be the light in the darkness. And you ever see if it gets really, really dark in a place? You know, it's pitch black. If you light a match, that little flame, the darkness, can never overcome the light. The light is always stronger. So, gentlemen, are you part of the darkness and cursing of darkness? It's dark. The world sucks. Everything's going to hell. Oh, great. I want to be around you. <laughs> or are you the one that brings hope to the darkness? Are you the one that brings Christ to the darkness? Are you the one that brings his light to the darkness? You can't do that yourself, gentlemen. You need to spend time in his word. So I'm going to tell you how to do that. So you need to get a Bible, not on your damn phone. One that you can sit there and hold in different things. And when you sit there, so you can underline it, so you can write it, so you don't sit there and say, you can have it on your phone. But you need one of these. Remember reading things? It's amazing. A book. Wow, a book. And so, and this way it's in front of you. It bears witness too. I mean, this is to what my Bible looks like, huh? It's covered with a nice leather covering, but this is the inside. So what I do is I keep it next to my bedstand. I really have two. So I have more than two, but one next to my bedstand and the one I carry with me all the time. So that way, before I get out of bed in the morning and take my dump or whatever it is, you ever... <laughs> 
Oh, you all know you take dumps in the morning. You know it's true. <laughs> Women do not take dumps in the morning. They go, poof. But anyway, the rest of us, we do our stuff. Anyway, even before you go and do that, you get, before you get out of bed, you turn on the light. <laughs> And you pray the Holy Spirit and you say, Spirit of the God, living God, speak to my heart your word. And then you open up God's word and then you start reading. And then you let the God of the universe hit you over the head with a two by four. And then you stop, listen, respond. That way God speaks to you first before your wife does, before your uh, uh, physical reality or going to the bathroom does, before anything else, you let God speak to you. If not, the way you start thinking in the morning is the way you're going to end in the, afternoon, in the evening. You start with yourself, you're going to end with yourself. You start with God, you'll end with God. 